Hey everyone, this is Geek Band here with another one of my Panda's Opinion. Now this time I'm going to be talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. Now originally when it first was announced, uh, Activision said that it was going to be paired up with Infinite Warfare for at least the Legacy Edition for $80. Now this pissed off a good amount of people because they want ju they just wanted the Modern Warfare Remastered. That's all we wanted. You know, for me, I loved how the game looked. I was very excited, but I was very pissed off that I had to buy a game I didn't really want in order to get the game I wanted. It was kind of like the same thing with Crackdown in order to play the Halo 3 beta if you weren't invited with friends and family or you know the beta invites that they gave out you had to buy Crackdown that was the surefire way now with this you know the Legacy Edition was 80 but you know right now you can probably buy on the PlayStation Store or Xbox Live Marketplace or out there, out there in retail for like 60 bucks a price of a standard game recently Activision announced and released the standalone version of it first on the PlayStation 4 with the Xbox One and the PC coming out later on but for 40 fucking dollars that's what pissed me off if this was if this was like 30 bucks okay you know what 30 dollars no problem i'll bite the bullet but for 40 dollars i wasn't gonna do that no sir i was not gonna do that because it, it was like seriously like i could buy for the price that you want you know or a little higher i could buy two games for one not even no even better I just got this in the mail from eBay. Guess how much I spent on it? $36 and change. And that was with shipping and handling. Like, I got a really good deal on this. So, for the price, for not even the price of the standalone, I, for the cheaper price of that, I got two games for one. And to me, because I, I did not want to give Activision the money. I don't believe that this is a really good business practice. If they were going to do it, if they were going to release it later on, they said, hey, if you want it later on, it'll come out later on for this price, but you just got to wait. So you can bite the bullet now or wait later on and for a cheaper price of $30, you can get it. If they did it that way, I, I'm sure people wouldn't mind as much, but because they said that it was the only way to get it, and then they made it 180 and said, hey, yeah, and us fans are like, we called it out, we knew it, and some people are surprised still, it just annoys your fans, you know? It just annoys the people that loves your loves the series so much. Like, to me, I'm still a huge Call of Duty fan. I, you know, not as much as the newer games out now, but the games that released back beforehand, like Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, you know, they were, you know, Black Ops 2 even, they were some of the best moments that I've had in gaming. And to see Activision doing, you know, some shady stuff like this for, you know, business practices, it just annoys the living shit out of me because they're forcing my hand to pay for something I didn't want because I want to get something else that came with it. But I avoided everything and shopped on eBay for a cheaper price than the standalone and I still got you know infinite warfare and i don't mind it because i played it you know i did a let's play on it for the ps4 and i the campaign wasn't that bad i i enjoyed some i enjoyed some of it too and with this and people are like so i need to buy it on xbox because i got friends on xbox that want to play with me and i was going to spend more than like 50 or 60 dollars so for 36 bucks i made a good deal so with that uh I'm gonna end it off there, folks. You know, if you want to buy it, I just, I just wish it was thirty dollars. So you, you know, because that would have been a much easier pill to swallow. But if you want to buy it, you know, I would look up on eBay for the Legacy Edition used because you know, right now, you could probably find a really good deal for the Xbox One at least. You know, for the PS4, I know it came out with a code, so you got to be careful to make sure the code wasn't even used and all that dandy stuff. But for the Xbox One, this is your surefire way. So with this. That's going to be it for today here, folks. Post down in the comment box of what are your opinions about this. And also, don't forget to hit that like and don't forget to subscribe already because it really does help out. And with that, uh, it's actually... God damn, it's really hot and I need to get an AC. Uh, with that, though, this is Geek Man here. I'm out. Stay geeky, my friends.